this is a face <laughs> what is this blackout history of prison reign of joseph napoleon napoleon is another suspect you know i'm, I'm gonna do a video on all right so that was charles mm. v um we mm. know you, napoleon was a, a corsican man you know that a, 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 a corsica is or is a yes yes all his family is from corsica mm -hmm. corsica, corsica. Is, is not yeah. a real french yeah corsica is an yeah. island in next to yeah. sicilia is is in sardinia in mediterranean sea it's not okay. from the continent it's from yeah. an island of of the yeah. of the mediterranean sea yeah and, and this Corsica, is their coat of arms you see yeah. all the moors I, yeah. I went three months in corsica mm -hmm. and i studied the story of corsica in corsica and i interviewed a lot of white people who told me that they are uh descent of black moors and mm -hmm. i remember when the plumber the plumber just told me that his son was standing next to him and he, he was upset and uh, his father said yes we have descent from black people and the son was upset about that <laughs> <laughs> I remember that story. It's, I, I lived it, and I was in Bonifacio, the very south of uh, of Corsica. Okay. The map that you are that you are showing. Okay. I so you've been the there. Boat yeah. From Marseille, and uh, from Marseille, I I got to to Corsica, and I arrived in a port called Porto Vecchio. Okay. And I was surprised is that uh, all the people they just tattooed the the a black uh, head on their body it just like everyone and i say me why yeah. are you doing that <laughs> yeah so they napoleon said, so napoleon is flag. Nap this is the flag of our so country. napoleon bonaparte <laughs> is, is from corsica and corsica as you can see everybody yes, yes. in the middle middle of the mediterranean in the middle of the moorish world at that time this is the iberian Na uh, world right here napoleon yeah did not understand as a, a, a word of french <laughs> french is not so what the he, mother what did he tongue speak? of napoleon what did he speak uh, uh the corsican corsican uh -huh. corsican people have their own language okay what do you what is it related to Let and it uh, uh, sicilia sicilia la sicil how do you say sicilia in, it's in a English. roman's language from the italo dalmatian family that is spoken predominantly in the mediterranean island corsica Related to the Tuscan varieties from the Italian Peninsula, and therefore the Florentine based. I, I don't think Italian. he was. I don't think he was. Uh, he was uh, black. Maybe, maybe he was uh, Tony, because uh, at that time, in maybe there you will find in Mediterranean people, even the so-called white, they are Tony in the in the south. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, I think that. That you must check the the daughter of King Louis uh, uh, of France, and the Mores of More is there is a, a a picture of her, and she's totally black. And if well, she is the daughter of the king, yeah. <laughs> the well, king must we, be some kind of the, uh, something. Well, we read all the anthropological, well, many of the anthropological books of uh, the indigenous people I, of Italy, and I, they were all describing them as swarthy, Negro, I, dark skin. So, you know, and we've seen the pottery. We've seen, you know, I mean, we know, I mean, look at it. It's, I mean, it's bordered to Africa, right? Um, and all this, we know the history of the Pegasus people, the, uh, you know, Greece, you know, with the ancient Greeks. We know a lot of the, all, most of this was all swarthy. You know, all Swarty people, dark skinned people, melanated people. So we know the true history. So when you're saying um, he's from Corsica, you know, that's just to me, I already knew and everyone you know, knew I got a future that. video on, on Napoleon and I'm investigating him and his relation in Haiti and in the Americas. All right. So, ah, yes, I, yeah. I, I, I can um, I can um, advise you to uh, uh, to watch um, documentary. Mm -hmm. a french documentary on uh, 
on the campaign of Egypt of Napoleon. Okay. And, and, um, and you can uh, have uh, English subtitle easily because it's a documentary with um, yeah. with. Um, well, that's what I'm a telling you. French. I mean, there, there yeah, was so really nothing. Google can translate. I, I really believe that when they're talking about Napoleon and France being in Egypt, they were talking about real the real Egypt. And that's why that whole area was France, the Louisiana Purchase and all that. And, 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 and you know, they were shipping things out of America, yes, yes. putting them, putting them when, in museums and talking about it came from Egypt. Yes. There was nothing in Egypt because you Let said it earlier, tell- they just rebuilt it. Yes, they rebuilt that. And let me mm. tell you something. When the French conquered Egypt, the English people came just after and uh-huh. they took all, they fight the French and they kick out the French from Egypt and they took all, all the research that the French did and all the artifacts. And that's why the Rosette Stone, the Rosetta Stone, is in British Museum because the French, they lose the war in Egypt, and mm-hmm. they was uh, they were um, shipped to France as losers by the English. They signed a treaty of uh, resignation, so, <laughs> so they they keep them out, and the English people took all the artifacts, and the French they conserved only few little statues figurines i won't say statue because it was allowed only uh, to take what you can wear by yourself so mm-hmm. some drawings and uh, uh, things like that but the french they they lose all the years of study in in but they f- find the stone of rosette in um in um in 1799 uh-huh. that means that bef- between the the decline of roman empire and napoleon no one could read or write yeah so, uh, or even knew that language it's like they invented all <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, we, or we, they we, took it from on, another place and bring it there i i've seen the uh, documentaries on that and, actually um, so I, I wouldn't disagree on the rosetta stone and what they so do yeah. for my part before napoleon I, uh-huh. I can show you maps of 500 years maps of 300 years and there is africa on those maps there is maps of 600 years and there is africa on the on those maps and there on the on the map of africa you can see castles all over the continent but mm-hmm. you can't find a single pyramid anywhere <laughs> so i told you that i have a degree in arabic the arabic they conquered egypt in in uh, in uh, 603 um 39 639 so uh, it was the 7th uh, the 7th century mm-hmm. of our era and they did not notice any pyramid you cannot find a word on pyramids in Arabic scriptures, in Arabic chronicles, in hmm. Arabic historians. Ooh. A single, I, I speak mm. Arabic. Wow. I went to many Arabic speaking countries. It's not even part of their, so it's not there. even part of their I, um, I read alphabet. Arabic. You wow. can't find any pyramids in any documentation in Arabic. <laughs> does not exist and they are the people who conquered egypt before napoleon and they can't say a word about it because they didn't even saw it yeah before napoleon 
and it <laughs> so, so Napoleon introduced the, the concept of, the of Egypt story. and uh, the whole uh, pyramids and all that, the whole uh, mythological world, the whole story, you, the great pyramids. You know pyramids. why they, they named Louisiana, Louisiana? Do you know why they named Louisiana, Louisiana? Louisiana. Why they named that place Louisiana? It was because... Yeah of the king after the king of france he was named after the king of france so that means that the french yeah yeah came king louis in the mississippian yes uh, yes <laughs> king louis and i told you that the daughter of king louis uh was black there is a a a, a, a very famous a canvas of it and yeah I, well uh, i got i got a future video i got a future canvas that that actually correlates with my future video about the Washita Moors and um their relation with the King and Louis and who was King who was Joseph Masson Roach, who got the land grant the Spanish land grant, and why he got a Spanish land grant, and what happened to King Louis the Seventeenth. So yeah, there's a, there's a whole mystery right yes. there, and uh, yes, we're gonna but we're gonna the, we're gonna link the, it up. Uh, Louis 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 the 14th and the 16th they are the the, the, the most famous king and yeah the 16th, the, got, 14th, got, the 16th got um he got beheaded right he got murdered right he, there was yes. the, <laughs> the french revolution the french revolution and then he got tried and he got beheaded his son supposedly there's, was arrested his son and this no, is this is, this is a no spoiler french revolution this, this is, is yeah, all yeah. fake and, and yeah. lies there's no yeah. french revolution and so tell us tell us what the they revolution, did there's a there's a um you know the mm -hmm. bourgeois how do you the wealthy people yeah the bourgeois they wanted yeah. the power because they had more money than the king yeah but the privileges yeah. of the monarchy did not fit with their agenda so they organized mm -hmm. how to raise the people the, the population against but it's only the people the poor people in paris so what they did they up they uh, increased the price of floor floor flower okay the flower you know, you, okay. flower mm -hmm. flower to uh to make bread to increase the the, the price of of flour uh uh and the and the the poor people of paris they went uh in town and there were wealthy people who came and used that uh force the force of the people and the anger of the people for their own purposes yeah it was led by one but, guy uh, i know what you're talking about he was a very wealthy yes, guy there's a lot no of french revolution because the rest yeah. of the country there was no revolution in the in the other in, in the rest of the country and you have to know that at that yeah. time no people would uh, could speak french french is a very new language french is started to speak they started to uh to um yeah so you you were talking about um say that uh, it was the official one of the persons you were mentioning was maximin robes robespierre he was um and then the other yeah, guy yes but uh, they, george danton george's danton after yeah that. after that he got executed danton, he did. Robespierre. Yep. yeah so now yes, we got a lot of we have a lot of whitewashing were... this is this is all whitewashing most of it right here we're gonna we're gonna because we're investigating all these people and uh, we're seeing the true meaning like you're saying behind all these things what they're calling a french revolution and why they beheaded some uh, of them you know. were advocating for uh the um, abolition of, of slavery because some of them said um uh, the revolution now everyone is free from monarchy mm -hmm. so we want the negroes in the americas free to to be free to and uh, some of the Jacobin, the Jacobins mm -hmm. uh, in the parliament did not agree with that, so they killed them. Yeah. Yeah. So 
So I was you was talking about um the alliance. Um you were talking it's about a mess and plan. It's yeah. a Masonic plan. <laughs> you know what you call French Revolution? It's not a revolution at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was uh by secret orders. Yeah. Secret public orders. Yes, if you look at the 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 documentation, the declaration of the the human rights uh, of uh, seventeen ninety uh, eighty nine, you will see mm-hmm. that on the top there is a very symbolic uh, message. Uh, 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 on the top there is a pyramid with the eye, right? and it is not uh, hidden, but on on the the left you have um uh, a woman and the chain there is a chain goes under the clothes uh, attached on his feet but you cannot see the chain no more so mm-hmm. it's like a message that we free you to put you another chain that you can't see 